This is a Riverside.fm tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'll walk you step by step on how you can set up Riverside to record your first video interview or podcast online. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, for this video, I'll be interviewing my friend Dennis for just a quick setup of how Riverside.fm works. Now, you may be asking yourself, what is Riverside? Riverside is an online podcast and video studio that allows you to record in studio quality without the studio. It's really awesome. So you'll need to click on get started. And if you'd like to make a purchase, there's a 15% off if you use my code David Bogua, but the links are in the description below to make it easier for you. So uh, the free version still gives you all the things that you're going to see here with the watermark and the highest recording resolution is going to be 720p. So that's just the downside. Now, once you've signed up, click on login and I'm just going to log into my account so that we can set up everything as it is and uh, right here you have something called your studios in the dashboard so I'll create a new studio and I'm going to name my studio Dennis interview now that's the studio name the recording type this will only affect what gets recorded you can still see each other during the live call but if you decide to choose audio only, only the audio is going to be recorded. But I want to have the audio and the video recorded, which is really important. And then I'll need to set up the transcription language. And Riverside.fm supports over 100 plus languages. So it's really awesome to know that if your language is included, you can have automatic transcripts available for you once your recording is done. This interview is going to be in English. So I'm going to select that right there. But you can see all the other languages available. The next thing is I can click on enter studio or continue setup studio. I'll click on enter studio because everything that you can do here, you can still do once you're in the studio. So I'm going to click on enter studio. And once I do that, uh, it's going to bring me now the dashboard for my studio. It's going to uh, kind of allow me to check my camera and my mic. So what camera am I using? I'm using the HD pro webcam C920. It's a 1080p uh, recording cam. So here it is. I have the HP wide vision. And if you have any other uh, cameras available, then you can have this setup as well. Um, I'm going to be using uh, my mic right here, the AT2020, uh, running through a Focusrite Scarlett Solo, and then uh, your speakers. Now, from this side, you can set up your host and then uh, set if you're using I'm not using headphones. It's really important for you to use headphones because you can get echoes if you don't use them So I'm going to grab my headphones real quick And I believe I'm ready now I'll say I'm using headphones and it's going to adjust that for that and then I'll click on join studio Once I click on that I'm almost ready to invite Dennis to this but one thing is you'll notice that you need to title your recording. That is that is if something you're interested in. I'll click on this and say uh, first interview. You can even give it a date or whatever you want. Click on save. Something that you'll notice is that the audio and the video are in 720p. You can also see that the 720p is the live view here. So because my webcam supports up to 1920 by 1080, I can click on this gear icon for the settings. And once I do that, if you land on the general settings here, you can navigate yourself to the recording settings right about here. Uh, once it's set up, you can uh, tweak a lot of uh, settings here. Participant audio, record audio only. You can still see each other. These are the same settings that we just uh, saw right now. Uh, but you also have other options where you can remove background noise, remove ambient noise like air conditioner, and laptop fans. This applies to all participants in the recording. This may be something that you might need to use. Now, if you're recording video, uh, you may need to use the 48 kilohertz. You can click on that. But if you're doing audio only, just go for 44.1 khz. And then uh, for the participant video recording, the recommended is the optimized quality. Faster guest uploading and processing. Each participant is recorded at a maximum of 720 hd clips still export at 1080p advanced quality best for cameras capable of 1080p and 4k hd resolution advanced quality with slow uploading and processing i'll click on this and it's going 
uh, to kind of change the background. So I'm going for that. And you'll see that it flickers and it changes to 1080p. So if you have a 4K enabled camera, you can still switch to that. If that's something you have, but I only have a camera that goes up to 1080p. The settings are saved automatically, so you don't need to do anything. I'm not going to do anything else here. Now I'm going to invite Dennis into this uh, uh, interview uh, for us to actually record. So I'm going to invite by email. And uh, for the interview, you can uh, interview or invite as an audience, guest or producer. I'm going to be inviting Dennis as a guest. So I'll click on invite. And an email is going to be sent to Dennis. So let's give him a couple of minutes and I'm sure he's going to be here. Now, one thing you'll notice is that now the host is at 1080p and then we also have uh, the audio and the interview at 2160p. So I'm sure this is uh, corresponding uh, to uh, what I was setting up as uh, the 1920, but actually let's go back and see. Yeah, it's at 4K, we can change it back to 1080p, yeah. So it goes back to 1080p. I think that's that's much better now for us uh, because my webcam does not support 4K. It only supports 1080p. So I'm ready for Dennis to join. Uh, I'm just waiting for him uh, to join in the conversation so that we can do a quick uh, review of how everything else works. So you can still uh, turn on the remove background noise from here. You can also do the echo cancellation from here. Uh, so that we can see uh, if everything that we want is as it is. A quick note here is that your guest, audience, or even your producer does not need to have a Riverside.fm account for them to actually jump onto your video, interview, or podcast. All they need is a Chrome-based browser uh, or even Microsoft Edge for them to enter your interview. So there are other things here like media, chat, people, uh, where you actually see the people who are invited. Uh, you can leave studio and session for all. You can share your screen or a presentation. Uh, you can change your mic. You can change your camera. And then you can mute uh, your mic and everything. And then you can record. So uh, we're giving Dennis a couple of seconds here. And I'm sure he's going to be available. The different media available. The chat is available. And the people that are available at the moment. So Dennis is joining in. Uh, and He's right there on the other side. And as you can see, as you can see, he also has the guest is now 1080p because of what I changed in the settings and it's crystal clear. So he may seem a little bit blurry, uh, but the final recording is going to be in HQ. So I'm now going to hit the record button to just do a quick uh, interview with Dennis for just like a minute to show you how it works. So I'm going to hit record. And then it's going to give us a countdown uh, of like five to zero. There we go. Hi, Dennis. How are you? Hi, David. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fine. There's not much uh, going on here. So uh, just a quick uh, jumping in here and asking you, how far along are you with uh, the YouTube project that we're working on? Uh, everything's going good. Everything is on schedule. Um, we should have results uh, probably by the end of the week. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, now that's all I had for you this week. So thank you so much for joining us for this video. Until next time, uh, let's catch up. So uh, okay, let's David. stop this recording and it's done. So now once everything is done, you can see that the uploads keep going up. For Dennis, it's at 57%. Mine is at 90% uh, of the different recordings that we're doing. Uh, so once everything is done, it syncs onto the dashboard. And what happens is that the recordings are usually locally on the browser. So remember to tell your guests not to close down their browser because if they do, the recordings will not upload in that particular moment. So it's always important to let your uh, guests know that. But everything is uploaded and complete. So I believe if and if Dennis actually closed up his browser, I'm good to go. So thank you so much, Dennis, for joining me for this one. So so uh thank you so much uh let's leave now we can leave our end session for all and then go to the view recordings so what we can see right here is that we have tracks uh, one track two tracks of two tracks so it's done it's kind of processing what we want 
But if you click on this, let's click on that, it's processing the trucks, and you can see there are two uh, persons here, David and then Dennis. So it's actually processing. And if we scroll down, you'll be able to see that everything is available for us here. All participants, and you can see our recording resolutions are really, really good and really, really high. And if you actually go back up, I'm assuming it's already done. Yeah, you can see if we actually play this to preview and it's a low quality preview. Hi, Dennis, how are you? Hi, David. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fine. There's not much uh, going on here. So uh, just a quick. So as you can see, it's a really high quality recording and we can go back to the dashboard. And that is how you actually record your first video interview or podcast in Riverside.fm. There are a ton of uh, things uh, that you can still do from here. You can create clips that is social media uh, uh, videos uh, right inside here, or you can go into the editor. And in future tutorials, I'm going to go into the editor to make different changes because as you can see here, we've got the full view uh, and then uh, we've got uh, the side by side and there are a ton of things that you can do with the side by side here. So you can uh, kind of go nine by 16, one by one, 16 by nine. And then for this, you can still do some further things. You can like do add some padding and then you can do like some backgrounds right there to change this, add a custom background and so on and so forth. It's really, really uh, something that I recommend uh, you check out. So uh, as for this video, let's go back uh, to uh, our dashboard. Let's go back to the studios. And uh, the latest call that we had is 13 minutes ago, as you can see, and others have been for like the last two days. Uh, you can see what is available. And this is our studio for that particular interview that I just conducted. So. That's it for this video and that is a Riverside.fm tutorial for beginners how to record your first video interview or podcast interview in Riverside.fm. I hope this video is of value to you. Thank you so much for watching.